Hi guys, now in this video we're asked to find the missing term to make this quadratic, each quadratic expression, a perfect square. Okay? Now if you notice we are given the we are only given two terms and we're asked to find the final term. Now based on what we have been doing so far, this should be pretty easy. And just just for you to note that questions like these you may may see on your end of year exams or your pre-algebra courses if you're in college okay now one important thing to note when working questions like these uh, when you're given an algebraic expression moreover a quadratic expression in this form and you're asked to find the missing term to make it a perfect square we can just note carefully since we're dealing with a quadratic let's just make a note of what the quadratic expression looks like right now since we're, we want to turn this into a perfect square we are going to use the method that we have been using thus far which is a half of B a half of B all squared must be equal to a times C okay if you notice however in this case we are given the first term the x squared term and we are given the b so we are given a x squared here and we are given b x here however the c is missing so we are going to substitute our values and then solve for c so in this case we would have just let me change my color we would have here a half and b is negative 10 times negative 10 all squared we're just substituting and that must be equal to a times c and if you note I, I had placed the coefficient of x squared which is a there so I have a times but they didn't give us c so c is what we're solving for so what I'll be doing here inside the brackets I'll be taking a half of negative 10 and a half times negative 10 will give me a negative 5 and I'm going to square that and that is equal to 1 times C will give me C now negative 5 all squared is the same as negative 5 times negative 5 which will give me a positive 25 and C is equal to positive 25 so there we go we have found the value of C so we now have to and just let me make a split the screen there rather so for question one we are not we have now found the value of c so we can rewrite by saying x squared minus 10x and this is a positive 25 plus 25 would make question one a perfect square so the missing term that we had found here is 25 now let's move on to question number two now if you notice in question number two it's a little bit different they gave us the first term which is the a x squared term if you are matching and if you notice we we weren't given a term in x so the middle term is missing but we had give they had given us our constant c which is 16 so again to solve for the missing term which is bx that term here in the middle I'm on question two now again I'll go back to what I know about a quadratic expression and we would know so we would know that a half of b all squared is equal to a times c now I'm taking a half do we have were we given b no we don't know what b is we're trying to solve for b so I put back my b all square and that must be equal to the coefficient of x square which is a here it is 1 again okay so I would have a 1 in front of the k so it's 1 times my constant c which is 16 the 16 here so I'm saying a half of b all squared is equal to 1 times 16 which is 16 now this is pretty interesting here we have a squared term here and that is equal to the constant 16 so to solve for b since this side is square I must take the square root of both sides okay 
so I'm taking the square root of both sides and in this case I am more interested in the positive square so here now we know that the square root would cancel the square so we're left with a half of b a half of b is equal to the root of 16 and I'm really taking the positive root of 16 okay now we have a half times b I need to transpose or make b the subject so a half is multiplying b so I must so a half of b is equal to to 4 now a half is multiplying b so since it's multiplying to make b the subject I must divide through by a half okay and we would know that what I do to one side of my equation I must do it to the other side of my equation okay so I'm dividing both sides by a half so a half will cancel a half and 4 divided by a half is this 4 divided by a half is the same as saying 4 times 2 and let's look at it this is b is equal to 4 divided by a half these two statements this statement this statement here and this statement is the same thing this line means to divide hence I've changed the sign to division now we would have already learned that when dividing fractions it's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal so basically b is equal to b is equal to 4 I'm going to change my division to multiplication and I'm going to flip the fraction at the back to say 4 times 2 so b is equal to 8 okay so b is equal to 8 and that's my answer okay so the missing term that I was looking for here in part 2 let me pull it down a bit the missing term here that I was looking for is 8 okay so I would now rewrite number 2 by saying k square k square plus and I have gotten an 8 for my answer because the value of b is 8 so it would be 8 k and we would have our c that was given plus 16 okay and you can try number 3 for yourself and later on we'll look at it okay I want you to try that one for yourself to see what you would have arrived at. Okay, bye-bye. Good.